building up that savage conditioning warrior body program day eight let's get into it first we're going to start off with 10 minutes of jumping rope i'm just going nice and easy getting everything warmed up after about two minutes i really start to hit the pavement banging it out now if you do not have a jump rope do get you one click the link below to get you the jump rope that i'm using box rope really great rope in all the videos you see me jumping rope that's the rope i've been using now with day eight we're just gonna move 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 being extremely light on our feet somebody asks how do you build punching power for me my philosophy is this everything starts from the feet you gotta be very snappy and explosive on your feet jumping rope shadow boxing helps with that there's other drills that you can do like plyometrics and whatnot but for me the thing is you want to be able to generate power on an instant when you're doing plyometrics you're really learning how to generate power in certain stances jumping rope really helps you to be explosive whenever you need to be now right after that we're going to do 10 minutes of free flow shadow boxing with weights i'm using 2.5 pound dumbbells if you do not have any hand weights that's okay you could do it another way where you get two plastic water bottles fill it up with water and just hold that the weights don't have to be heavy what you got to focus on is just continuous movement as you can see here i'm not really hitting too hard i'm just focusing more on just moving 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 here moving there bouncing on my feet throwing those punches the name of the game is to just keep moving and like i said if you want to build that power you got to learn how to just torque that power in any stance any situation any corner any foot placement whatever and the only way you'll get that for me is jumping rope and just free flow shadow boxing just moving putting combinations together as i always say if you feel extremely awkward doing it that's okay practice practice right after that you're going to go straight back into 10 minutes of jumping rope non-stop the only time you're going to break is when you reset the timer this time i'm really warmed up so i'm really pounding it in really just getting that speed in after the seven days i've lost about two pounds just being on the diet the carnivore diet skipping breakfast two pounds is kind of a lot but i'm feeling good everything started to tone out and after that 10 minutes of jumping rope we're going to finish off with 10 minutes again of free flow shadow boxing moving moving as you can see now i'm really snapping it out you really want to just push your pace really get a sweat going as you can see i'm glistening after the jumping rope and shadow boxing i'm really gassed but i'm doing my best to push my pace and that's what you need to do push your pace all right i still got the 2.5 pound dumbbells and that is it for day eight basic shadow boxing jumping rope jumping rope shadow boxing push your pace keep it basic focus on the intensity and you will be toning out for this summer that's a wrap for day eight on the warrior body program and always remember train hard and be kind